guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren, thank you so much for watching. Today's video, I'm gonna be talking all about sale makeup that almost got me. I talk a lot about sale makeup here. I have my whole series of makeup no one wants. That's makeup that goes on sale that I'm like, yeah, no wonder. Yeah, no one wanted it. But today, instead of talking about that type of stuff, I'm gonna talk about stuff that essentially was good. <laughs> it was good deals, good brands, good prices, all of that stuff. And I wanna mostly focus on the things that I actually ended up not buying, but almost did. I wanna talk to you about how I talked myself out of these products, why I didn't buy these products. I mentioned this idea of a video in a couple videos back. So some of you guys knew this was coming, but I thought it would be fun to share with you the reasons that I talked myself out of some of these things ultimately even though there were a lot of ways that I could have talked myself into them and I think that's one of the balances you do have to strike if you are someone who likes to get a deal me if you are someone who does like to shop makeup sales it's a balance to you know not buy everything that's on sale just because it's on sale because that doesn't make it a good deal for you you have to remember the you factor of like are you gonna wear it actually is this something you were interested in before this happened to be 20% off or 50% off like all those things you need to really Really think about so hopefully you can be making the best decisions for yourself I don't want to make this intro too long but I do want to say right at the beginning off the bat if you're someone who doesn't want to buy stuff if you're trying really hard not to buy a sale you it's not it's not worth it really I mean it's not your goal is to not buy so don't get sucked in I know there's a lot of FOMO that can happen I know it seems like it might be a good deal like this might never happen again it might never show up but I would say like 99% of that is not true or it's okay it's okay just like let it go you're not saving money by spending money even if you're getting a deal on the item from what it was originally priced so I just want to throw kind of have that over the top of this in case you're gonna have that FOMO in case you know that's something that you're struggling with or that one of your goals is not buying just stay strong girl you got this okay but yeah we're gonna get into it and then at the end I'm gonna show you what I did buy and then there's a special little thing at the end end so uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video so all this stuff was from BoxyCharm. I don't know if it was add-ons or pop-up, but basically they do add-ons or pop-up every month. Like it's either add-ons, it's either pop-up now. And a lot of you guys told me you don't even need to be subscribed to BoxyCharm anymore for one of them. Like you can just shop the sales, which is awesome because I do find like outside of like some awesome steals I've seen people find at TJ Maxx or Ross or anything like that. Really, I think that BoxyCharm, the, their sales outside of their subscription box are some of the best on makeup like if you want to find makeup at prices that you just didn't even know <laughs> that are so good boxycharm tends to kill it the most it does i gotta say as someone once again i'm a connoisseur of makeup sales they got some good sales they really do um so that's where i screenshotted all these pictures i haven't looked at them it's been a while when you order during these sales usually it can take a little bit to get to you but i want to say all of the stuff i'm going to show you was tempting to me i'm not showing you you shit that I thought was horrible and was easy an easy pass like this is stuff I genuinely almost bought and I want to tell you all the reasons why it tempted me but that ultimately I didn't go with it so first off here is a product from pharmacy this is the honey grail ultra hydrating face oil I believe this might have been in either the premium or maybe it was in the base box but I didn't ever get this in one of my boxy charms so I was really tempted by this it was 75% off originally $48 down to $12 if you know anything about pharmacy products their stuff is expensive and also pharmacy is one of those brands to me that I am pretty tempted by almost anything I've just had really good experiences in the past with different products from them so if I can get something in their skincare line at a discount I'm definitely you know my ears are a little perked up I'm I'm listening I'm waiting I'm watching like sell it to me you know this is also part of like the honey type like line from them and I really love the honeymoon glow serum it's like a chemically exfoliating serum you put in at night and it just makes you look so amazing love that product I'm like I am scanning the sales <laughs> on BoxyCharm and elsewhere to try to get that on a discount even though I do think it'd be worth it full price but man I'd really like to get it a little cheaper anyway all those things tempted me into getting this but the reason I ultimately didn't go with this is because it's a face oil I don't use face oils I don't really love the feeling of face oils on my skin so I decided not to get this because I think that it would be more of a chore to use than it would be a pleasure and I'm still spending $12 even though you know compared to almost 50 it's definitely a deal and if it's something that you like it might be a really good purchase but me not loving oils it's not it's still $12 
dollars out of my pocket for a product that I might not really like I might not want to use and I just feel like all of that combined that's a losing combination for me as the customer like I'm tricking my own self so I said no to that product next on my list is something from Yensa this is the pumpkin turmeric two-in-one radiance polishing mask I love this mask and it was on sale 80% off for $9 down from 45. The reason that I didn't end up buying this is because I literally have one of these and as much as I love it, it does take time to go through. And my last one, I felt like I was kind of savoring it extra long and at the end of the day, I felt like that last use had gone bad, like it just didn't smell the same. So I decided not to purchase this because I didn't want to end up having a product go bad on me if I could help it. I know by experience that this product has a little bit less of a shelf time why would I risk it even though it's nine dollars again nine dollars is still nine dollars to spend on a product that who knows when I'll get to it so I decided not to pick this one up for me even though it's hard again I love this I think it gives such a nice polish and radiance to the skin when you use it it smells like cinnamony it's a perfect perfect skincare like mask type product for fall. Not that you need skincare specifically for seasons based off of scents, but if you wanna be extra or if you wanted to bust it out more, it's just so beautiful, especially during the fall time. But I personally did not pick that up for myself, even though I was so tempted. Next is a product from Osei. I think that might be how you say it. Osei Malibu. This is 76% off from $38 down to nine, and it's the Sea Minerals Mist. I don't know what it is, mists get me. I know that that is a category of product that I just feel like I can't get enough. I love shopping them. I love the experience of misting your face. It feels luxe and it's so sensory and I love that about it. And in my head, I know that mists can be a product you could actually go through as opposed to like blushes or you know, something like that. So I think those are the reasons that I'm captivated. Plus my friend Simbri really likes this brand. She usually is talking about like a moisturizer, I think though, not the mist. And I think that's why I ultimately was like, I don't need another mist. Let's use a few more mists. Uh, this isn't the exact product <laughs> that Simbri talks about. So I was like, okay, I'm not gonna get it this time. Even though once again, I know it's a high-end brand. I am interested in trying things from this brand. It just wasn't the right time right now. So I didn't pick that one up. Next is something from Shantikai. You guys, I'm gonna be tempted by anything in the sales section, especially on a deep discount. That that is from a really high-end luxury brand like that immediately already mm, yep what what is it? it it retailed for $75 and it's 76% off I'm gonna go see what that is <laughs> I'm gonna go see what that product is so this is the pure rose water I think it's just like a toner my picture is kind of blurry I'm not even sure what you do with this I'm not even sure it's 100 mils um it's down to $18 I was so tempted because it's Chantecaille to get this and try it because I want to try something who doesn't it looks beautiful it's like fancy whatever but I ended up not doing it because I just told you I don't know what the fuck this is <laughs> Like, I'm not gonna get it. I don't even know what it does. I don't need this product. It's like, I'm literally buying this for a name. And you know, if that's your thing and that's what you wanna do, for sure. But I definitely try to find ways to talk myself out of products. And that was how I talked to myself. I'm like, girl, what are you doing? You're just buying this for the name. This isn't like the Shantikai product you wanted and it's at a discount. Like that's a pretty good, you know, maybe win. This isn't that, this is just a product from that brand. So I didn't buy it. And also, even though 76% off is a great percentage, it's still $18. It's still not nothing, you know? It's almost 20 bucks. That's still money, you know? So I didn't end up picking that one up. Glad I didn't. Another thing, they had this Jasmine Lily Healing Mask from Chantecai, 80% off, originally $92 down to 18. What an amazing deal. I didn't get this because it's a mask and I don't mask very much. I really don't. I wanna do it more. I have so many freaking masks lying around and I knew that this is going to be that it's going to be here in my house lying around and buying it because of Shantikai. So I said no to that one, even though that price, you guys, that price was too good. Next, this is from Dose of Colors. These are lip liners, 79% off, down from 14 to three dollars. Three dollars for high-end makeup that's sold at like Ulta or Sephora. My ears, once again, perked up. I'm listening. I'm like, why not? It just feels so inexpensive to try something, especially to Dose of Colors is a brand that I am pretty interested in trying different products from, especially at a discount. I feel like it's one of the brands that I don't know how much I'm buying from them full price, but if there is a sale, maybe I'll try something. Maybe I'll find that new thing that I can understand maybe the hype or understand like how good it is. And then maybe I'd buy it full price, but it's one of the brands I'm not like initially 
shelling out that full price dollar amount for, you know? So I do tend to look at them during sales, but I ended up not going with this, even though they're only $3. Like this is an improvement for me, okay? Because me in the past, it's like, let's try every freaking color. They're $3 a piece, but I didn't do it because these lip liners are twist ups and I don't like a twist up lip liner. I've told you guys that, I told myself that. And so I didn't let even that, that pretty cheap price of three bucks get me to get them. And I'm, this is like when I'm proud of myself, like, you did it, Lauren. <laughs> you didn't let the sale get you. I didn't let the sale get me on this one. It's hard to not want this for three bucks, for me at least. Like how my brain works, how I've conditioned my brain to work, how the world's conditioned my brain to work. It's hard not to want this. Same with this next one. Again, $3 for a single shadow. These are the Block Party single shadows. There were only a couple different options, but they're 85% off, originally $20 a piece. I remember really wanting these at the time, and they are something that, in theory, would be something I like. They have like a flakiness, a shimmer to them, like all that, like they're more special type single shadows. So you would think I'd like them but I've actually gotten one of these in the past from BoxyCharm in a different color, different than the colors that were available, but I didn't like it. And I was like, what the hell is this? So I tried to and had to keep that memory of how bad that shadow was in my mind, how much of a letdown that shadow was so that I didn't pick up these ones because three bucks, it just feels like so low risk to just see if maybe it's your new favorite. And maybe that one I tried was a dud. Maybe that one color wasn't as amazing as some of these ones, but I stopped myself because I was like, you don't need this. You know, <laughs> you've tried it once. It didn't work. Don't try it again. Like let it tell you what it is. It told you listen to it. Another single eyeshadow that I had to say no to. This is 71% off from MAC. It's a dazzle shadow in the shade Couture Pepper and it's six bucks from 21. I think that in my head, again, seeing MAC on any type of special, MAC is just one of those brands that holds my heart and just is nostalgic to me because when I first started watching YouTube, so many people freaking loved MAC and had MAC and it was just such an expensive brand at the time to me. And so if I can see some thing Mac on a discount I'm kind of like oh maybe I could get Mac like I could be a Mac girl and so yeah I had to like shut down that nostalgia because I don't need this copper eyeshadow I'm not saying this copper eyeshadow isn't beautiful and you know whatever but like I've said I did buy some things and I just didn't need to add this one to the cart so I said no shut down that nostalgia and uh, didn't get the dazzle extreme shadow Ooh, this one was tough for me to say no to too <laughs> well all of these are tough to say no to this is from Wander Beauty, a brand I'm not really on the lookout for, a brand that I definitely think is like synonymous to discounted makeup and like beauty boxes if I'm being totally real with you. This is the Lip Retreat Oil and I tried the original Lip Retreat Oil through a box and I love it. I think it is so nice. And then I got the shade, I think it's called Skinny Dip and it's more of like a neutral shade. And I love that one too. So having that experience, it made it really tough, this being six bucks to say no to. But looking at the colors here, these are not colors that I want to wear. They aren't. So I would be buying this to kind of complete a collection or to get more of something that I like. But the reality is that I'm not going to like these shades as much as I love the clear one and as much as I love the neutral one that I actually wear. So I said no to this even though again, it was hard because I know how good this product is, but I know that I'm not gonna wear those colors. I'm not, I'm not gonna wear the colors and I'm so glad that I didn't. Next, this is a product from Persona. I am always looking out for Persona cosmetics on the sales as well. They tend to be in the boxy pop-up. So it's one of the brands that I'm like, definitely gonna look at and see what they have available. And I think it's similar to Joseph Colors where I'm not sure if I wanna spend retail price on, on the brand, even if I'm kind of looking at their releases, but for a sale price, I could maybe do that, you know? So these are their matte liquid lipsticks. There were two colors. One was a nice, really beautiful neutral. One was this really beautiful hot red. Those are both colors that I would like. They were $6 from 16. I thought that was a good price, but I decided not to get these because I have had a liquid lipstick from them before. I think it was in the shade called Phoenix and it was very dry. It was very crumbly and it was very uncomfortable. And I needed to really hone in and remember that experience because I did didn't want to do it again to myself. Like what, why would this tempt me if I've had a bad experience? But 
the brand and the fact that I've been more into liquid lipsticks made me want to be like, maybe these will work for me now. Maybe now I'd like them. Like what is wrong with my brain? And I think I really just wanted to have this like talk out experience with you guys because I'm sure some of you guys can relate to this kind of feeling and talking yourself down from things. So at least I hope so. And I hope this can maybe be helpful for you because I know the feeling where it's like, ooh, is this the last time I could get this deal? It, the FOMO, the kind of, yeah, like the sales are gonna sell out but what if this product ends up being such a great product and my new favorite there's always that to consider you know in your head on top of just yeah the price just knowing you're getting a product that's valued at something for a cheaper price sometimes that alone is like tempting all right next another Mac product this is actually a product I really do want to try and if this had been in another color, I would have probably gotten it. This is the Glow Play Blush, but the only color that I think I saw was Rosy Does It, and this would be so beautiful for different people, or if it's your like preference in color. Oh, I hope that you got this and somehow saw the sale because from $30 down to six is so good, especially when we're talking about sales like from Ulta that I feel like are so mainstream. Those sales are like half off at most. That is like, holy shit, everyone's like clapping, applauding, cheering for 50% off, and BoxyCharm's over here like 75, 80% off. Like, that's a sale to me. <laughs> It's warped my brain and that's the only sale like I can get down with, okay? I just thought this was such a great deal. I wanna try these blushes. I don't want that color though. And so I know that even though it's a formula I wanna try, even though it's a brand I'm excited for, even though that price is so right, this color is gonna sit in my drawer. This color is not gonna get used, it's gonna just be there and that's the type of clutter I don't want. That's the type of product I don't want in my collection, even if everything else seems to check out. Color matters, it's not just about formula, it's not just about brand, it's not about the product, it's a the color matters. So didn't get it and I'm proud of myself. Another one, this is a little bit nostalgic for me from M Cosmetics, another brand that I would definitely be interested in if it's on sale. And this is the Infinite Lip Cloud. I bought these when they first came out, when she first launch M Cosmetics, that new M Cosmetics, not the old M Cosmetics. I had bought a couple different lip clouds then. And so I think there's like a nostalgia factor, the fact that it was on here for six bucks. Like again, I feel like $6 is a pretty good deal for a lip product, especially when it's something that retails for like 20. 70% off is a good deal. But I just felt like these colors are a little bit deep and vampy. Maybe would have been a good pickup for fall, but I don't remember loving that formula. And I don't know if I'd love it now. Plus personally, when I look at my own collection, I do have those Kaleidos ones, which are like lip clays and kind of similar. So I ended up not getting this one. And ultimately like, right, the sales over. I don't know if these sales will ever come back up. Maybe some of these items will be available again, but I'm happy. I'm sitting here and telling you from the other side after the sale, I'm so happy I didn't get this stuff, right? Okay, next is Half Caked Palette, the more colorful one. I definitely was tempted. Six bucks, like six bucks for an eyeshadow palette that retailed for, it says it's 16, but I think it was more than that. I don't think it was that cheap. I was tempted to buy this palette when it came out, like full price. So I was like, Wow, $6, but ultimately I said no to it. And here are the reasons why. I'm pretty sure it's an all matte palette. And although there are some really fun colorful shades in mattes in here, there are also quite a few neutrals. There's like four-ish neutrals that I de definitely don't need. And I just don't need this. This is another thing that like, I think it's a, a really sneaky one. This is a sneaky, sneaky guy coming into my life trying to tempt me <laughs> because it is pretty and it is cute and I, I said no this time. I said no this time, I don't need you. I just felt like when I think of all the things that I have in my collection, am I gonna actually wanna reach for this? And I think the fact that I didn't buy it full price was just like, you don't need it for $6 either. So I said no. I said no, I shut that shit down. Next is a product from Truly. This is the Pineapple Haze CBD Glossy Lip Butter. I wanna try this because I think Truly does a pretty good job of their like kind of viral marketing where they have people trying their like whipped products in containers and they have that unicorn product and I think there's something about that. I just wanna try it. Plus the CBD aspect of this does make me wanna try it too, although I don't know what CBD is doing for my lips if I'm being honest. But I do enjoy like a CBD lotion to help with like muscle soreness or cramping or anything like that. I really find it can like 
de-stress my neck muscles if they're feeling tight. And so, you know, I kind of perk up to the CBD, whereas before I really truly wouldn't have cared. 63% off from 16 down to six. It's a decent price, but I think I ultimately didn't get this because it's in the pot. It's just, I don't need it. I know I love lip balms. It's another one. It's a category I really like. I'm like, I don't need, I do not need this. I have so many lip balms to still try. So I said no. This time I said no. Oh my, how many were there? There's, I said no to a lot. That's what this is proving. <laughs> I really do feel like there were so many good things on sale. Okay, so next from Natasha Denona. Anything Natasha Denona that goes on sale, I'm gonna look at it. I'm just on the Natasha Denona train, y'all. I really am. And so, yeah, I'm I'm interested. Maybe at one point I'll be weak and I'll get this, but this time I didn't. This is the Ayana palette, and it's the more neutral one that came out at the same time as the Jubilee in the Boxy Charms, but I got the Jubilee. I didn't get this one. $9 for five shadows. I mean, I almost bought this just because I want that packaging so that I can create my own five pans because if you haven't seen the video I did where you're taking out Natasha Denona shadows and all of that, you can pop these out and then you can create your own five pans in, you know, the Natasha Denona packaging and create your own color stories. It's so fun, especially too, if you have the other bigger, like $129 palette, all those can pop out and you could just go crazy and have so much fun creating your own color stories. And I love that idea. So maybe at one point, like I said, no, <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, I have this weird, like far off fantasy that if I could get everything really discounted, you know, F it. Like I'm just going to have Natasha Denona everything. <laughs> but I'm, I haven't done that. I'm not saying I'm going to do that, but I'm just telling you my deepest, darkest fantasies. <laughs> Nine bucks though. You can't beat that price. You cannot beat that price. Those five pan palettes are on sale. I think at Sephora right now, um, during Labor Day, they're half off at like 24. That's nine, nine, not even 14, $9, nine for the big five pans, not the minis, big five pans. Just saying. Okay, this from Rowan Beauty. Anything Rowan Beauty, I'm like probably gonna get. This I didn't because I'm pretty sure I bought this exact single shadow and didn't like it on sale for 20. Once again, the sale price at Sephora was 20. The sale price on BoxyCharm, nine. Half of what my sale price was. <laughs> You can't beat the prices here. Okay, Rowan Beauty Summer Disco Eyeshadow in Gold. I didn't end up getting it because I didn't like the freaking one that I bought from Rowan before. I didn't feel like it compared to the quad that I had, the 1111 quad, so I didn't get it. But it was still hard. Even with that information, still hard. Still hard. Like, what is wrong with me? This is one Fenty. Anything Fenty, probably tempted by in a sale because it doesn't go on sale a ton. Definitely not for the deep discounts in, you know, BoxyCharm. This is the What It Do Makeup Refreshing Spray. Again, a makeup mist. You know I want to try it. From $30, it was down to $18, but I ultimately didn't get this because I didn't exactly have this mist on my list. This mist on my list. And it still was $18. Like, if it was $9, probably would have got it. But $18 is still, like, a lot. It's a great deal if it's like your favorite mist or it's like the one mist you've really been wanting to try but that wasn't me so I said no oh baby this one was the toughest not to buy for myself but a little clue to the end stay tuned to the end guys that was horrendous anyway this is a product from Alamar and this is the Spanglish collection this has the Spanglish palette, some brushes, an eyeshadow primer, and I think even something else in it. This was 92% off for $10. I wanted to buy this for every fucking person. I, I want to have this where a random kid comes to my door because their ball got put into the back of the yard and they're like, I just need to pick up my ball. And I'm like, okay, also here you go, kid. Take this beautiful <laughs> makeup. I like, I want to gift this to everyone. It was so cheap. I had to resist somewhat. Um, I just think it was such a good deal. $120 value for $10 for the entire collection. What? Like these are the types of deals that I'm just like, it's hard to give up BoxyCharm for, regardless of what comes every month. Like if I'm being upfront honest with you, also because I do YouTube, I am in the makeup, I am in the makeup world. Like I am deep in there, okay? This is so good, you guys. 10 bucks, but I didn't buy it for myself. I already bought the palette for myself a while ago, so I don't need the other stuff. But man, if there were ever a time where I was questioning, did I need those brushes? Did I need that eye primer? It was in that moment, but I ultimately said no. And I didn't buy like 10 of them to like have and hoard as gifts. And I'm proud of myself. <laughs> okay.
Okay, next is a dry shampoo. I'm always on the lookout for dry shampoos, but I've kind of like calmed down on it a little bit, even though nine bucks for this Design Me dry shampoo isn't bad. And I really like the Design Me puff volumizing kind of like mist that adds like texture to your hair. But I'm trying not to buy dry shampoos because I just tend to like the ones I like. And it's such a tool product for me. Like I have no time. I have no patience to mess around with shit that's not gonna work. This needs to work. I gotta get out of here. This needs to work I don't want to look like shit I don't want to sit here I don't have the time to know oh actually I do need to actually go wash my hair because that that thing didn't work and actually made it more greasy like I need to know these things I've got stuff to do so I didn't buy this because I don't know if it's gonna work maybe it'd be awesome maybe it wouldn't I don't know but I know what does work the Batiste and if I'm going high-end feeling a little bougie I go with the Moroccan oil that's all I do that's all I do same with this another hair product this is the IGK Beach Club soft texture paste I have two products from this line already the Beach Club line that I really like. One is like a blow dry cream, but I like to put it in and let my hair air dry and I find it just gives a little bit of something so my hair isn't just baby fine. You know, it adds something. It's really nice. I love it. Smells so good too. I know this is gonna smell so good like coconut, but I don't need this. I don't need a, maybe for Sam, but for my hair, this isn't really what I need. So I said no to it, even though I've had good experience, 64% off on an IGK product. It's pretty good, nine bucks. Like that is good. That's like lower brands, whatever that means. But like at Target, that's like the price of those brands. Oh, this one was tough because I've had a past with the Huda Beauty Obsessions palettes. These are the pastel ones. They had every single pastel obsessions for 12 bucks. You could have got the pink one, the lavender one, and the mint one for $12 a piece. I mean, that's a great price if you were interested in these, but I don't want these. I don't like the color stories that much. I think they're a little too pastel. I want a little bit more punch. I don't love the little like, you know, marble texture all the time. Like I'm not that interested in it. So I'm glad I said no to these because although 59% off is a pretty good deal, I don't need these. And I still would be spending $12 and if I somehow got it in my head, I needed to try all three, $45 almost, that adds up. Or 38, I guess, $38, it adds up. Glad I didn't do it. Even though once again, if you did want these, if these were on your list, if you were lusting after them, $38 for all three instead of 29 for one, that's a good deal. That is a good deal. Man, this video is a long one. <laughs> Last one though, this is the Ciate London Miss Piggy Blush Palette. Really wasn't interested in this when it came out, but you know, that sale price on it is like, makes me side eye it a little in a good way, in a way that's like, well, maybe, <laughs> but ultimately I didn't go with it because I just don't think I'm actually gonna get that much use out of it. And when I think of $12 or even this at full price, like I know I don't need it. I know the sale, the, that sale price is really what's sucking me in. And even if one of those blushes would have worked, I'm not like the most into full on four blush palettes or bigger. It's really gotta it seem like all of it's gonna work. And I'm pretty sure these might be matte and not like shimmery. I just talked myself out of it because I think I'd rather have like a a single nice blush even if it was like you know kind of expensive so I said no to it I mean but they're good sales though right like they, it, I'm the temptation is there they're making it hard they're making it hard over there so that's what I didn't buy what tempted me and I didn't get it good job girl a little bit of a you know I'm proud of myself I'm not gonna lie I'm proud of myself but I thought real fast I would share with you what I did actually end up buying because like I said I do want to get a deal on some makeup. I do want to try some new things. So I did pick up some stuff from Dose of Colors. These are eyeliner pencils. They were still that $3, you guys. And so I picked up all four colors that were available. One of the reasons that these got me, the price was so good, $3 a piece. I mean, that's e.l.f. That's e.l.f. prices to me. So to get Dose of Colors in nice packaging, and these colors are really nice and interesting. So this one is called New Flame, which is like a red. I kept being like, it is? an eyeliner not a lip liner right and it is it's an eyeliner a more burgundy but similar color is called cloud wine there was a navy called splash and then this is a nice charcoal gray and this was in pencil me in so I love pencil liners for doing the lash line tight lining I tend to only use those types of liners I'm not doing like liquid or liquid pen ones you know so these I know will get a lot of great use. I was excited to add some like red burgundy colors to my collection and that price, you know, I'm not gonna find a pencil 
for really cheaper than that. And I don't mind twist ups when it comes to eyeliner pencils. Those I'm fine with. It's just the lip ones that I'm not, I'm not into. Like I mentioned earlier, Persona is a brand I'm always looking out for. So I did pick up two things. This first one is a bronzer stick in the shade Dune. I probably wouldn't have picked this up if it wasn't on sale. I think it was either six or nine dollars. And I'm also like on a bronzer journey. So I was like, ah, well that price is pretty good. Let's see if it works. So that's the color there. I am wearing it today. I need to test it out more though and see if it's something that's actually gonna work long term for me. So I picked up that. And then the other thing I picked up is this lip gloss in the shade Twilight. Although I don't like the liquid lipsticks, I do like the lip glosses. I have a couple different glosses. I picked up some from the last sale cause I think they were also like $3 or like $6, a pretty good deal. And I think this one was six or maybe it was a little bit more at nine. It could have been nine um, because I think this might be a newer shade. And this is a really pretty neutral with like a golden shimmer in it but the shimmer isn't too much I've been wearing it throughout the video but I'm pretty sure it's worn off by now and I'm happy with this one it also smells so good it smells like kind of frosting oh I really like the smell of it. So I picked that up. I picked up this hand cream. This is called Serum Kind. It's the Black Blossom Hand Serum. It's not a cream, it's a serum. And that's probably what tempted me the most is because I love hand creams. I love anything that's moisturizing on the hands as a lotion. And I love that it was a serum if I'm being honest. So I picked this up. I really love the like look of this, the aesthetic of it. It's very like medicinal, trying to be bougie high end looking and I love that and I think it was six bucks so I'll keep you guys posted on what I think about that I think I only have three things left to show you I did end up getting an M cosmetics product this is the rose milk liquid serum blush thing first off way tinier than I expected I thought I thought these are bigger, they're pretty tiny, which is good. I think that makes sense for the amount of product, but just something to note. <laughs> I used this today for the first time and this like picked up my foundation a lot underneath. So I have some testing to do. Glad I got this on a sale so far, like, I'm, that's like one of the things that is nice, like getting it, I think this was like nine bucks instead of almost, is it almost 30 or 25 or at least. It just doesn't hurt as much when the things don't work out for you. Um, but I still need to try it. Maybe I'm just wearing the wrong foundation. Maybe it's gonna be a better one for lighter foundation days. I don't know, I need to figure it out. But um, yeah, I did get that and I'm glad I only got one. I think I was tempted to get a couple different colors but I was like, girl, you don't know if it's good. Just get the one and I'm glad that that happened. My last two items are ones that maybe I could have done a little bit better in not getting, but I'm gonna share them with you. This one is from Kaja. Kaja. Kaja, the brand that just has a clutch on my heart and I'm trying to just pry its dead bony fingers off of it and it's been tough, it's taken a while. But but this is a lip gloss, it's not gimmicky and I thought the color was really pretty. It's 01 Beachy Nude and I really do like the color. I haven't used it yet, oh. I think this will be a good one. I think it will. Not really a smell on it, which is nice. I'm glad it doesn't smell gross, but I'll keep you guys posted. It's really not too pigmented. That's what I'm so excited for actually. So that might be better than I thought, but I'm glad I didn't get caught up with some of the gimmicky stuff from Kaja this time, okay? That's what I gotta watch out for. <laughs> okay, the last one is kind of a regret. I'm not gonna lie. This is from Milk. I'm just always so tempted by the Milk makeup stuff because I it's just a brand that's like so, I'm gonna, I wanna be a cool girl. I wanna be a cool girl. Come on, let me in the club. Let me in. <laughs> and to get it on a good deal, I think this was like three bucks or four bucks. Like seriously, I mean that, four dollars. This is the Kush Lip Balm, but it's in the shade Nug. Um, which is more neutral. I've tried the Kush Balms before and I don't like the smell, but I thought maybe those are bad, like, you know, but it's still not my favorite smell. Like it's like minty, but herbal, but I love that. I should love that, but it's not my favorite. Color is really pretty. I'm still gonna give it a little bit of chance, maybe like with a little bit more use. I can expose myself to it enough that I end up liking it maybe, um, but probably should have just been good and, and recalled the times I've tried this and or not gotten it, but we'll see. Packaging is so nice, so luxe, like such a luxe, nice thing for four bucks. Like 
what a steal, but um, it's not a steal if it's not gonna get used. So that's what I ended up picking up. But oh no, the video doesn't end here, guys. I had to pick up some stuff for you guys. I was shopping for myself and there were so many good deals, some that I had gotten for myself in the past. And I was like, you know what? I want to get you guys some stuff. So I'm doing a giveaway with this video. As with all my giveaways, the rules are only that you have to leave a comment with your Instagram or email so I can get a hold of you. That is it. That's literally it. <laughs> and I will pick randomly someone to win this. It's open internationally. It's open to anyone. That's it. I'll have the rules down below and I'll let you know when I'm gonna like close it, but yeah. And then I just contact the, the winner. And anyway, let me show you what I picked up for you guys and what is in the giveaway. I really wanted to pick up stuff that either I personally liked or that I was personally interested in. So you could try it and see what your thoughts are. That was my mindset behind this. And obviously you guys know it was all on sale. So I was just like excited to share it with you guys. So first is still in the packaging and I'm not going to take it out, but they had the Rowan 1111 quad. I've been talking about this and I was so excited. I definitely wanted one of you guys to to get this and try it out because it is quite an expensive product. This one's mine that I have and it was just such a good deal. I think it was like $19 and I was like, someone has to get this for $19. So I picked up the Rowan 1111 quad to put in the giveaway. I did pick up that Yensa mask, not for myself, but for one of you. This is the pumpkin turmeric. I really enjoy this, so I hope that you will. I picked up the hand serum for the giveaway and then the rest of this is all makeup and I really want to make sure it would work for anyone who wins. So I have three different lip products I did get you guys the Kaja lip product to try. I also have three different Persona glosses. One is the shade Twilight, which I picked up, but then I also did get the shade Toffee and Honey, which I picked up in like one of the past sales. So I got those for the giveaway. I picked up all four of the eyeliners as well so that you guys could add some liners to your collection. And then y'all know I had to, it's too good not to. So I did get the Spanglish palette. I have the Spanglish palette. I'll actually go get it so you can see what it looks like inside. So this is what that palette that's in that packaging looks like and then on the inside it's really warm with purples and pinks and oranges it honestly makes a pretty fun and colorful almost fall palette I think it's really pretty and I'm excited for at least one of you guys to win it I just wanted to share the love with you guys and my love of sale makeup because I do I love getting a sale and I wanted to share it with you guys so of course if you want to enter the giveaway make sure to do that and I really hope you guys enjoyed the video I'd love to know where you like to shop sales if you like to shop sale makeup Makeup. Where's the best place you can find it? Maybe in your location if you're shopping like in store or online. Let us know the deals, you guys. Um, but thank you so much for hanging out with me today, guys. I hope you're doing well. And other than that, I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.